What's up y'all, it's Dr. Paul. I'm back with another video in my series of the conservation of Noah's copy of Startling Comics, number 48, with that great uh, Schomburg cover. From the Atomic Age, or the very end of the Golden Age. So what do we have here? Um, what I'm accomplishing here is photo bleaching with a bath, an aqueous bath, that consists of about point four grams calcium hydroxide in, in a liter of water. I've got about a half liter in here right now. Um, so for those of you that have seen my previous videos, you know the, the trick here is that calcium hydroxide maximum uh, fully saturated solution at room temperature in water is about 1.6 grams per liter. So if you make a saturated solution and you decant the top layer that is clear, that's fully saturated. We know then that that's at 1.6 liters per, or rather 1.6 grams per liter. You cut that 50% with water, you're at 0.8 grams per liter. You cut it 50% again with water, you're at 0.4 grams per liter. That is effectively uh, one quarter by volume your uh, saturated solution of calcium hydroxide and the rest water. So we have a very thin layer of that and we know that that is a deacidification bath. It's also a very mild bleaching agent. When we combine it with the photo bleaching from these two LEDs, and these are LEDs that have wavelengths in the 450 to 460 nanometer blue, that these two combined make a very effective bleaching system that barely affects our inks at all, but can really knock stains out of the paper. So as you recall, these t this book from Noah had very bad mold stains. And we've effectively been able to knock those mold stains right out of the paper with this method. Now this method was first described in the scientific literature. The earliest descriptions that I could find of using it in the conservation literature are about 1988, but it's been fairly extensively published. So next steps here um, are to get this out of the aqueous bath and to start the drying process. I have done, I have photo bleached the front and the versa of this cover. And while we do have a few traces of uh, stains left, I think, you know, pursuing it any further might lead to diminishing returns. So we're gonna call it quits here. We have dramatically decreased the mold stains and we've, for all intents and purposes, removed them with just some very slight traces. And we took care of all the areas we were concerned about. We didn't lose any of that friable paper across the top. So I really couldn't be more pleased. So next step is, um, you may see underneath the paper, and I think you can see the edge of it right here. I have some Holytex to support the paper. And this is my regular tray for doing photo developing. So I'm going to pour off this carby, uh, this calcium hydroxide. Important to note, we're not going to rinse it. The reason why is we actually want to leave what's called an, an AR, that is to say an alkaline reserve. So we're going to leave some of those alkaline salts in the paper. Why? Because paper, as it naturally breaks down, produces acid and it's self-catalyzing. It destroys, it literally destroys itself. So by leaving that alkaline reserve behind, it's similar to how CGC leaves the microchamber paper in your book when they slab it. We're leaving behind an alkaline reserve that will neutralize that acid as the paper breaks down. So I'm not going to rinse this. Um, I'm going to pour this fluid off and then we're gonna start the drying process. 
All right, we're ready for next steps in the preparation of this Startling Comics number 48 cover. Um, what I have here is just my craft mat with a piece of heavy cardstock that is just slightly larger than the comic cover. Two layers of paper towels. I have the all right, I have the cover suspended between two pieces of Holly Tex. And importantly, I'm pulling on the Holly Tex, not on the cover here, okay? It's maybe not entirely clear to you. Um, I'm also gonna double check to make sure. I had two little pieces of paper that were Potentially bent over. I think that's from the other side bent, so I may need to address that from the other side. I want these to be nice and flat. So that one's unfolded. Okay, so I'm going to flip this over. I think while I do it, I may as well put two more pieces of paper towel down. So I'm going to set this out of the way and do that because so I'll just save myself a step and put the paper face down, put the cover face down. So I have my paper between 18 and 4 on here and that's so that when I set the cover down, I know where to sell it, set it relative to that paper, okay? So again, I'm holding this just by the Holly text. I'm not touching the cover at all. And I'm just gonna make sure that if I do have a loose piece of paper right here, and it is bent over into the correct position. And I did have just a tiny tag of paper bent because this was already damaged. It was bent this way and I just flattened it out and I did that off camera just because y'all don't need to see the back of my head. All right, now I'm gonna make sure that I position this correctly on the paper towel and then position it correctly on the paper underneath. So remember, the paper underneath goes from 18 to 4. So we're lined up with that perfectly. And the paper goes the full width of the paper towel. So we're well within the confines of the paper right now. And I'm going to add two more paper towels to the top of this. I'm going to use those marks so that even though I can't see through the paper towel, I know exactly where the book or the cover rather is because we are gonna put this under a cold press. And the cold press that I use is a piece of granite that's left over from a countertop installation. And I've cut it and polished it to just the dimensions that we need for a golden age cover. This side is rough, but the other side is actually countertop smooth. So we're just gonna leave this set. Um, initially, you wanna swap those papers towels out uh, really quite rapidly. So I'm gonna be probably swapping, doing the first swap out in like 10 minutes. Um, but then after that, you know, maybe approximately 10 minutes, then 20 minutes, then 40 minutes for the first view. And then after that, every few hours um, till you have a, a dry sheet. And then you can put it, for example, instead of a bunch of paper towels, you can put it just between a couple pieces of that card stock with the Holly text so that it doesn't stick. And you can press it under that card stock when it's already pretty dry. So at any rate, 
that'll give you that'll start to give you a really nice and smooth surface that won't need a lot of pressing when you're done so we'll come back and show you results of this after our cold press is done